In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use SSH over the Tor network. And the benefits of that is that you don't need open ports on firewall or configure NAT rules. It will always work as long as your server connects to the network. You can access your server anywhere in the world safely, anonymously, and it's encrypted. In this case, I'm gonna show you how to do it on Ubuntu, but it will work basically on any Linux distribution. So basically you need the first to install SSH open server on your Ubuntu machine. Uh, there is a link in the description how to do that. But if you're watching this video, you probably already have SSH service running on your machine. Let's start by installing the Tor service. Run sudo apt get install tor minus y enter and let it download. Okay, done. So let's configure now the Tor configure file because we need to adjust a little bit the default configuration. Let's run the command sudo nano for editing the file etc tor tor rc enter. Now let's go to the bottom of the file. Okay, and we're gonna add the following command hidden service directory dir slash var slash lib slash tor other underscore then service slash enter and the port we are using in this case i use a default port of the ssh it's port number 22 so eden ser service port 22 control x to save and yes okay now let's restart the tall service by running the command sudo system ctl restart tor okay now I recommend let's check that the Tor service is up and running by typing the command sudo service Tor status. Okay, it's active and running. Let's do control C to close this. Let's make sure that the SSH service is up and running as well by running the command sudo service SSH status. Okay, you can see it's up and running and it's in port 22. If in this case you see that the SSH server is not installed, just follow the other video. Install first the SSH server and then come back to this tutorial and continue. Clear the screen. So no, basically when we restart the Tor service, it generates the necessary file uh, under the var lib tor eden service file. And uh, we need hostname that has been generated by Tor service because this hostname is basically the URL that we will connect over the Tor network, over the internet. So what we need to do is run the command sudo cat var lib tor slash other hidden services hostname. Okay, so this is the onion address. This is the address that we will use in order to connect via SSH to this server. Now, let's try to connect from another client to the following server that we're running using this address. Okay, so as you can see, it's set here on the left side, that's the client we will use to connect to the Ubuntu server. It's a mint machine slash host name. Okay. So this is the address, the onion address, the encapsulated address that located somewhere on the Tor network. So when we connect from the client side on the left side and we will enter this address, route it and we encapsulate it and encrypt it over the Tor network and will arrive to the server no matter where you are. In order to do that, we first need to install Tor on our client side by running the command sudo apt get install do minus one if you want the command now install it okay tor has been installed let's check tor services up i run the command sudo service tor status it's up and running okay okay now let's try to connect to our remote service via ssh so the command is this sudo for super user torify ssh and now the username you can use root, at, and the address. You see the address on the left, but uh, we'll use root and I need to change the configuration file on the server. So let's use other user, like I have this user, ab, at, and now I will copy this address and try to log in. Okay, I copy the address. It's the same one, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, enter. It will take a while, it's a very slow network because all the encapsulation. That's why it's called onion. It's layer under layer under layer under layer and it's passed via many nodes, the routers and etc. Okay, so yes, for the key encryption. Okay, permission. 
passport of the user on the machine. Okay, and we're inside. We logged in from this machine to this machine. Uh, you can be anywhere in the world, bypass any firewall usually. You don't need to open any port, it's very anonymous and encrypted. Just to prove it's the same server, let's try to, let's say, um, let's reboot the machine. To reboot. Don't do it if you're in production environment. Passport. Voila, you see, reboot. Close the mode. And that's it. That's it basically. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I wish you a lovely day and stay tuned for more tutorials on this subject. Feel free to subscribe and like the video if you would like to support the channel and watch content that's similar to this one. Have a nice day. Cheers.